Hello everyone, welcome to Xperia Gamer. We wanted to make a quick video to show you a few little features of the new Ice Cream Sandwich software up and coming for the Xperia Play. Now this isn't a legitimate final product, this is a custom ROM, but you'll have to believe us when we tell you this is as close to the finished thing as possible. So I just wanted to show you a couple of little bits and uh, to show you what version I'm running here. Yeah, there you go. So, um, Ice Cream Sandwich is a lot more slicker, it's a lot more laid out better. Um, it is, and there's a few features that really are eye-pleasing, such as the new recent apps and multitasking view system. And I really like this. I liked it on my tablet, and I like it now. So, here is all your recent apps and tasks that are running. And of course, if you want to get rid of one, you just swipe it to the side, and it goes. And if you want to go back in, you just tap on it, and it'll take you straight to where you were obviously with that before. It's nice and easy and it works wherever you are. So if you wanted to go back to market for example and it'll take you straight back in. Easy. And I said when you want to get rid of a process you just swipe it to the side and it's gone. I like that a lot. So the notifications bar has been improved as well so um, if you uh, if you're listening to a piece of music, for example, wherever you are on the handset, you can still access that, obviously through the notifications bar. And if you want to get rid of something, then obviously you just swipe that to the side as well, just like the uh, recent apps view system. So you'll notice that it still looks very gingerbread-esque, um, this, this software. Now, I don't know how much that is going to stay with the final release, but what I do know is that most of the big shot with the new layout is that at the bottom you've got the soft touch keys instead of the hard ones. Well, the reality is on the 2011 portfolio from Sony, you have got the hard keys. So there's no point in having the touch versions at the bottom anyway. So that might be why the gingerbread layout is staying for these devices. But that is only uh, an assumption on my behalf. So we're getting to the settings. We're going to see some of the other bits now as well. So... The new settings layout is a lot easier to use. It's obviously been designed for uh, high resolution screens, so everything's a lot smaller and you can access it a lot easier. Such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, you can turn on and on, on and off by just sliding these to the side. A lot simpler, a lot easier to use. Um, gives you less windows. And this data usage app as well is really useful. So this will manage all of your mobile data from your service provider. Um, you've got a two gig limit here, a five gig uh, limit, sorry, and a two gig warning. Uh, obviously you can change that so you can manage that to whatever your subscription provider gives you. Uh, and you can even change your billing date so when it starts and, and stops for your billing cycle. Very, very useful. And there were previous versions available to download and even Sony Ericsson built one for themselves for gingerbread and you probably got it on your device now but this data usage is a lot more advanced and a lot more uh, detailed then you're probably excited to see the facial recognition screen unlock system now unfortunately for us we can't show you this working because um, for the simple reason is with this custom ROM the cameras don't work but this is how it would go so you would put your beautiful face here and every time you wanted to unlock your device, you just hold it to yourself and your handset will recognize you and unlock itself. Very, very cool. A uh, bit of a middle finger up to Apple with their patent dispute at the moment as well. So it's very cool. So all of the good Sony Ericsson software is going to stay as well. Um, and hopefully for this release, we're going to see the official arrival of the PlayStation Store, which is the f much better... Um, PlayStation download experience so it uses PSN as well which is great but you still got the PlayStation Pocket app and of course more importantly you will still have the Xperia Play launcher so it's all still here now however I did just want to show you one cool little bug which I find quite funny um, with the new ice cream sandwich devices you have the whole um, mouse and keyboard input so if I just use the touch pads on the play, you can see that I can actually control the screen and do the pinch to zoom using the Xperia Play touch pads. It's pretty cool, but I don't think it's supposed to work like that. 
So there you have it. A little bit of an insight into ex- Ice Cream Sandwich on the Xperia Play for you. Um, I'm sure the final release will have plenty more features uh, added to it. And when it does, we'll be there to show you it all again. Thanks for watching and see you soon.